But when I was starting startups or when I was pitching to companies or when I, you know, took on my role, uh, you know, in certain companies, I was the youngest there. I was the youngest at the top table. I was the youngest pitching. I was a woman. Uh, so, you know, I was viewed suspiciously. Uh, my merit was dismissed. My hard work was dismissed. My dedication, my, you know, uh, my ethos, work culture, all of that was was kind of put aside. And also I feel because, uh, you know, I'm a young entrepreneur and I'm a young woman entrepreneur. And I deal with men who are um, from a different generation altogether at this moment. So that is also a barrier which comes in. Sometimes men, um, I mean, older men, and I, my bosses were older men, uh, perfectly decent men, mm -hmm. but it just never entered their head that women have anything to say. So they don't intend to be um, insulting, but they end up being that. You're trying to do things at your time and pace. You are responsible for a lot more. You're responsible to yourself, to the company, to the people who work for you. And um, there is no stopping. So you've got to do what you've got to do, no matter what is happening in your life. You must have a skin as thick as the rhinoceros. Because uh, it's not only this category, I would say whenever a female steps out of the home, any business she wants to do or even for work, men feel that they have the liberal right to advise, unneeded advices, I would say. I started taking art workshops. Mm -hmm. And in my art workshops, there were corporate slaves. Like I say, I'm sorry, but I was one too. And now, as you said, how you connect the dots, because I have been there, done that, I could totally relate to all of these guys. And I used to tell them that, you know, if you're not feeling the urge, if you're not passionate about it, if you're not happy doing that thing, just leave and take that risk. Obviously, you have, your risk appetite has to be high but um, you know just give it a shot you have nothing to lose by the end of the day just save some money and just take that you know just jump and then just see for yourself if it doesn't work out that way it's fine uh, there will be a lot of obstacles that will come a lot of biases but if you look them as problems uh, you will get stuck uh, you have to find your own solution you have to uh, like I said, break the gla glass ceilings, right? Like uh, just move forward and keep trying and not settle with what where what the society tells you to do. I think just find your own solutions. Beautiful thing was that the mothers, the women themselves were telling me what they wanted. So from body scrubs, it became body butters, lip balms, shampoos, conditioners. And in, uh, instead of, uh, you know, instead of cooking in my kitchen now, instead of food, there were soaps and body butters being made. Yeah, that's the journey. That's how Wild Earth started in my kitchen, in my very little small kitchen. <laughs> I think as an entrepreneur, uh, there will be many lows that come in. But uh, you have to believe in yourself 100% and have a larger vision. Because if you keep looking at ups and downs that happen every day or one failure or after a month, uh, you will not succeed. Uh, when you start something, you have to, uh, you know, go with a very brave heart. And that's my advice for all those women who want to become entrepreneurs. <laughs>